All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 26 for today, and in the last episode, I got noticed by one of my fans. It was really cool to see how well he played with me and seeing that he uh, maybe follows the series. But we're sitting at Grand Champion 1 Division 2 and 2v2 and Champion 2 Division 2 and 3v3. All right, all right, all right. Now it's time for some meme of the day. We've got Vince Kelly with Sathu McConaughey. I am so sorry. Let's get to the episode. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, game number one, we got Izzy and Pennywise uh, with Calmer, Verzo, and Master Shifu. He's saying wow, so I think he might know something. You know, I will say that as we get higher up in the the uh, the games here, I'll go for the uh, the shot right away. Um, as we get higher up in the games, it feels like people, people are noticing me more often. And that definitely tells me that, um, yeah, people are probably following the series more at the upper end to try and get that final push. He's saying nah. Go back right here. I'm going to wait for Verzo to make a touch here. Looks like Izzy's trying to go back. It's a bit awkward of a touch. Good good positioning from Izzy, though. I'll wait for them to maybe make a clear. I'm going to push up to make them make a touch. i try and bump Master Shifu. And let him go for the follow-up. Looks like Izzy has it towards the net. He does get a bump. Try and get back here and recover. Now, I can't go the, get for the boost, but I'm going to hit this backwards to my teammate, who should be on this ball now. If I went for the boost, I'm bumped. Good play from them. If I went for the boost, I wouldn't be able to get the right touch on the ball. I'm gonna wait behind them. Okay, it's both players. Pop this up. Commerce last here. I'm trying to get, trying to avoid getting bumped off this touch. Maybe there's a chance here. Izzy should be getting on that. I should be on this ball here. Should be a good chance. Izzy should be on this next. Sitting behind. Oh. Good try. I can leave this off the, off the wall here. That's totally fine, too. I'm going to try and follow this and try and force a 50 off of Verzo here. And then get the corner boost. And now I see someone is up here, so I should be a little, little bit careful to make sure that they don't get a clear and my teammate isn't in a bad spot. Looks like Izzy's got full boost, so he should be able to stick on this next. Now it's okay if Verzo goes for a full field like this. Like there's not really anything too dangerous. Get behind my teammate Pennywise. Follow us up immediately. Looks like Izzy's going, though. Now this ball's bouncing into a good spot. I'm just going to try and force an awkward touch from them. It definitely seems so far that like my teammates aren't trying to be too aggressive. Um, I can stay in the corner here and try to force 50 or something. They're sitting back pretty patiently, but that's totally fine. They're not overcommitting. Shoot my teammate to rotate in here on this touch. Good demo attempt. Good bumps. Pop this up to the side. Trying to avoid the demo as well. Good try on the 50. I'm waiting for Calmer to make a touch here or something. Get myself in there. See how far back Izzy is. It's, no one's really able to support my next touch. So that is a, a bit of a, a difficult situation when um, all of your teammates are pretty far away. I'm going to go for this because I think that guy's challenging on the sidewall. There's so much space here. Pennywise could definitely make a controlled touch. The 50's okay. It was good control on the second uh, touch off the air dribble. So I'm just trying to keep it in here. It's not the best touch, but it does go back to Izzy. I was going to go for a bump here if um, he got it on target, but... I am low, so it's just wise I get out as soon as possible. You can almost say it's wise to get some pennies. Let's get the boost here and let uh, Penny go in. And, uh, it's going to be Verzo off the backboard, so I know he's going to control it. I'm going to wait in mid and see what happens. It's a good follow-up from Verzo. I can definitely tell he has some decent uh, aerial control. So with that in mind, I'm just trying to watch for when the ball's coming to the ground. It doesn't really set up anything with like a backboard or like a uh, flip reset. I'm just going for a big clear, see if Izzy can follow it. No, my teammate did die. That's a great finish on the touch there. My teammate did die, so if there was a quick return, I would want to make sure I don't push up too much. Is my teammate to Izzy to go? It looks like he doesn't want to go on this, just in case um, I turn on that. Now I'm waiting to see what Master Shifu does here. I just pop it over with a one touch. Try to get a block. You see, I didn't really have to like do anything crazy with a uh, with uh, air uh, air roll. I'm, I'm sure at this point we are getting players who are mechanical enough. Like you're seeing Verzo make some like decent touches. So it's it's weird for me because I don't want to like play perfect control. I'm going to try and bump this guy if I can. He ends up missing. It's hard for me to like, you know, do aerials and not like, like control it as well as I can. It's a good demo from Shifu. Could be a shot opportunity off the post. But unfortunately, my teammate, I think, owned gold that. Yeah, not the best touch from Izzy, 
you gotta be sure if you're gonna make the pop off that off that touch that you gotta like angle your car into the corner so that way the ball goes off the backboard you gotta be really careful not to uh pop that off the backboard like that above for them to get a free shot it should be easy to go for a shot right here nice they get touched in the corner they throw it away it's an early turn i'm gonna be beat here Nice, got control here. I watch out for the, the demos. Should be uh, easy to stay with this. It's a good fake. Good positioning. You see, Verza was last there, so he didn't want to overcommit. I got the ball in the corner here. How much time I have? How much space? Should be calmer. Awkward ball. Should be a shot from Penny. Not the best, but we do get pressure. Izzy can get on this first. Pop across. I would have liked to take a shot on target there. He says, sorry, it's all good. But definitely there in that situation. Like, I have a shot on target in the angle. Probably going to be a clear here, but looks like Izzy has full boost. So we should be able to turn on this. Does not need to take that mid. He could have left that, like, chipped it off the wall or something. And then we could have kept pressure as a team, but it's all good. He should go for this. Nice. Should be Pennywise next. That was a really fast shot. It's a cross. Is he full boost? Doesn't need to rotate back. We're, we got like full boost. Could we get on this next? Beautiful touch. I look careful because Verzo might beat him here. Good 50. I'm going to take this mid now. Should be Pennywise to get that corner. It's a good uh, demo from Verzo from behind. The decent first touch. You got to follow it though. Oh, he does outplay me. <laughs> Usually people leave that. If like they don't have full control, um, that's like a spot to leave that ball. It's going to be a shot on target. Yeah. There's just like so many opportunities where like we could definitely be playing a little more aggressive on offense. And then right here, like Pennywise just did not make a read at all on that touch. <laughs> Car ball, you suck. Nice, dude. All right, so first game was a loss in threes, but that's that's to be expected. Threes is like sort of a, a mess. We got a we got a queue here again. All right, we got uh, Tico Selensky, and it's truly Kev. We got Kamar on our team this time. Um, the Verzo guy was definitely like decently mechanical. Didn't make the best decisions. Like got that final shot, but definitely somebody should have should have been attacking that ball. It's also like really hard in threes for me, like at this rank, to not overdo it. You know what I mean? Like I, I, that's what I was saying before. It's like it's so hard not to just like over overdo the aggression. Gonna be back to them here. Should be okay. Awkward touch though. Mike should be able to follow this. These are not great touches from from the team, from the squad. <laughs> Every touch that goes over our, our net like that for another free shot is just gonna be another another play that is um dangerous for us. So the more we can avoid that, the better. Palmer's taking the corner. I thought he would have taken that mid. I'm going to get a clear here. I don't want to really hit the ceiling too much because it comes back down to them for control. Nice. Good 50. Should have popped this off the backboard. It's going to be Selensky here. I'm sitting on the left side. So We're just letting them get 50s for no reason. We need to get... Definitely people need to like get there before they make a touch. And my teammate's bumping me. <laughs> oh, I love threes. Okay. I'll pop this forward. There's so much time. See, like, Mike does not need to jump that early. There's so much space. Like, people, like, think that there's no time in the game. There's so much time. People are just panicking. Should be a shot opportunity off the corner. Maybe a shot. Good save. I can turn on this. Stay close here. Good challenge from Selensky. I'm just going to get 50. But it's a lot of time where it's just, like, there's so many times where, uh, like, you don't need to make a touch right away. There's time on the ball. Need to be reading like what's happening next. I'm gonna stay with this ball. I'm gonna put up the wall if I can. Stay close. I just outplayed my teammate back. So I thought he was gonna sit back a little bit. Let me pass it away from them so it's a free clear on the shot. I have no boost. So it's a little bit scary. I'm gonna jump this. I don't have any boost. There we go. Both my teammates have boost though. It should be a good chance. I'll go for this. Off the backboard. Again, just get a good 50. Awkward ball. Like the pass back. I'm last man, so I'll be really careful with my touches. Someone should be cutting this in mid. I don't know what's happening. Ugh. 
Okay, I'm gonna stay close to this. I'm gonna try and pop this to the left. Teammate should have this. So like my teammate that was underneath me should not be following that because we, we he sees that we have a teammate forward. Like, already on that ball, and he's last man in that situation. It's a good first touch. Like, I'm definitely seeing that, like, in champ. This is, like, the most random gameplay so far. Like, it was, it was definitely a little more organized, like, lower end because, like, players are not as good. So, there's not, like, more random decisions to be made. But people are playing, like, more speedy when they don't even need to be. You know what I mean? That's a good shot top right almost. It's a little dangerous. I'll go for the touch to the left side here. So, Mike should be seeing that there's space on the left side. Once again, there's nobody challenging him, so he could have held control. I'll go for this. Hit this off the backboard. Let's see, he might miss. Missing? Nice, good finish. That's a good double ta uh, tap opportunity. It was awkward for the last man. He definitely had time to go up for this, but he didn't get the read. You see, he just misread it. But yeah, threes is very, very random. It's so hard with like without having like a team that you know how they play and what they go for. You're going to be put in a lot of awkward positions, no matter what rank you are. And I've talked about this before that, like, even if you're like, this should be my teammate. He's a little bit wide, wider than I thought he would be. But it's totally fine. I'm just going to pinch around here. Um, it's always going to be really hard to know, like, where to be if your teammate's making it awkward for you. You know what I mean? I'm hoping that he challenges off the backboard here. I think he could have like went off the ground there and challenged forward. He had, um, let's see, he had full boost. So I didn't really expect him to run, uh, run to the backboard like that. Like he probably should have went mid. I could have cut for him, but he's already got boost and I was in the back corner. So it should be him next, but it doesn't want to turn. Oh, he also delayed on the kickoff a little bit. I got scared. I went back a little bit. That's a good turn, but should be Mike. Nice little shot. Oh, whoops. I said, I meant to say a uh, great pass. <laughs> that was a good pass from him. So he popped it forward. I did like obviously make a pretty mechanical shot there, but you know, I, it was, it was a good idea to be ready for that position to try and throw off the opponent. And honestly, like no matter what I do there, it's good to just like throw off the opponent's uh, defense. It's a good demo. It's off the, the side here. I'm just going to fake this and then go for the corner boost. Should be uh, calmer to go for this. Nice. Now I'm seeing that there's a chance that Mike has this touch first, but someone should be going for this. So I don't really want to go as last man, especially, especially since Calmer's like off the side. Um, it's a little dangerous for me to go for that ball. Pop this across to Mike. Great chance. Get the right mid here. Let's go for the back corner here. I got a free clear after that f final touch. It's too far off the car. Off the mark here. I have space for the shot off the backboard. And I got the lineup pretty early, so I just got to make sure I don't overthink it and just like go for the shot. Because at that point, anywhere in the net on target is good. Because that player is not going to be able to recover properly. And I'm definitely dusting that guy. Not a bad second game. Uh, threes, like I said, is very random. I don't know why the Verzo guy said I suck. Maybe I was playing slower than I should at this rank. I have no idea. But I'm trying to like... I was, I was top of the leaderboard. I didn't want to do too much more. It's always hard, like, not overdoing it, like I said. But hopefully we get a twos game so we can see how uh, GC1 is doing. All right, so we got twos. We got L M M's Locky, maybe, with JJ and Ha. Huh. I got space in this ball first. Just going to pop it up and then try to stay with this. You can see I'm delaying the 50-50, so it hopefully goes back behind him. Good challenge, but I can't really follow this yet. Waiting to see what Han does. He does let go of the ball a little bit. I'm just trying to like let this ball sp spill into the corner. I could have chased that, maybe. But it's a little awkward. I'm going to challenge this for my teammate. I'm going to try and get this ball controlled into the uh, the middle here. Hopefully, Ams can get on that. He's a little hesitant. Good save. He's going to be low boost. Oh, yeah. That's tough. Yeah, definitely like... I, I probably should have not chased into that corner there, but that, that pop was a little too high. The, the, the safer and closer you can keep that ball in the, off that clear, the better, because you're just going to lead it back uh, to uh, the opponents. But I try to like catch up to it. And sometimes that's the thing that I need. I even need to work on in my like high-level games is sometimes like I try to... like Even though like the player is trying to pass and I'm in the position to watch that the pass is going to be bad, I need to not bait myself into going for the play. Because I, I, I see a lot of players do that as well, like not just me. Um, in that situation, like, 
my teammate made a bad clear into the corner, I shouldn't just chase it down. Even though it's like instinctually you want to do that and you want to go for it and try to like keep it, you know, controlled. Give it to the corner here. I have space in the dribble. I'm going to try and outplay this guy if he goes. Go for a double. I'm trying to grab a pad or two in the mid here. Awkward touch. I can see that Am's lock Locky here is not the most comfortable with like keeping the ball controlled into a spot. Like he's just backflipping it a lot. But in speed, well, I'm gonna like try and force 50-50s and control it. Good challenge. It's a good beat, but it goes right back to huh. It's off the wall, so he's not gonna have a great time reading this. He's gonna go for a shot. Should be a save. And it does go for it. Go for a shot now. Should be saved. We got the boost too. My teammate has full. My teammate's booming it off the backboard a lot. Um, like, he was hitting it really hard, but I'm not really able to follow it uh, reliably because he's also, like, fully committing into the touch. I probably could have went for that, but at the same time, like, it's not that dangerous if I just wait. See if a teammate wants to touch this middle, maybe. It's off the backboard. You can see how it's kind of dangerous for Ems Locky to follow that after I hit it off the backboard hard because it's going to be in possession of them and they're going to have speed and... The ball's already moving in the direction they want to go. What do they do with this? Probably fine. I'm going to fake the 50 again. Should be space for him's locky. Should be on this ball. I, I do end up touching it off of my teammate, which is totally fine because i am I'm got the control in the corner. You see, I'm just trying to like control the touches here. That's a good bump from him. I keep the ball off, but this should be Ems Locky. Oh, he's far back. I'm going to pop it over, so my, maybe my teammate can follow now. I don't know how he had 100 boost and then went down to zero like that fast, but that's all good. I think I think they got the boost, so I'm just going to try and... Uh, oh, actually, he got it. Maybe he got the back corner. Doing a lot of circles. Good challenge. It seems like indecision. Also, he's just very poor boost management. He's low again. He just had, like, 100 and dropped it down to zero very, very quickly. You gotta be a little bit careful not to overdo the, the boost usage. Maybe a bump. Really good bump. I'm gonna try and grab this boost that way um, they don't grab it. Try and bump this guy. He's got 50 in the tank. Good touch. There we go. He's gonna get the boost here. Good try and getting the ball. Good challenge too. Should be in Zlocky here. That's a good first pop. Maybe a bump. Good try. I'll pop off the corner to keep it close here. I'll let him get the boost and maybe make a challenge. Good cut from him. I'm a little careful with how these things lead. Uh, that's a really great play. You gotta be really careful when you're you, when you see like two or three cars like next to the ball like this, really close. The 50-50s are usually more and more random. <laughs> the the more cars there are like that, so I. I try to be really careful not to overdo it, like with positioning forward. I can't really reliably go for like where the ball's gonna go because I don't really know where it's gonna go. Realistically, it could it could go over my head, it could go over the opponent's head. I gotta stay close to this, I'm hoping to just like 50-50 it. Well, somebody teammate wants it. I'm gonna try and get a clear here to go forward, and if I can, try to get this boost and maybe cut off this position. That's a good first touch though. So my teammate should hopefully cut. Nice job. That's going to be them first. I'm just going to play patiently. I am last man for a while here. So I'm just trying to get a touch off the wall. And same here. There's nobody going for the shot now. Like, I know that immediately, like, there's not going to be, like, an immediate shot. So I have time to, like, read the backboard. If there was somebody going there, I would have to awkwardly jump. But I know that he rotated too far. So this is off the backboard. Nobody's there. Good try the control. See if he can cut for me. Beautiful. And both players went. So we're trying to like, get this down the field as soon as possible. Uh, that's a good bump from them. Oh, my teammate went. No way. Didn't expect him to go for that ball. Especially like, oh, I'm already like pushed forward a little bit. Yeah, there's like no reason for him to do that. <laughs> okay. All good. Today's been a little bit, uh, I would say a little more random on the teammate side of things. Like we had that one episode where all the teammates were really, really consistent. We'll go for a pop here. Maybe we can finish this. Let's see if we can finish this, teammate. No, we're going to OT. That's fine. Let's uh, let's cheat up on the right side to get one pad. 
Good. We have a shot opportunity. I'm just going to go for a shot. See what he does with it. It's a good save. But we have another opportunity here. Teammate's sitting pretty far back. I'm just going to pop it over him. Stay aggressive. My teammate can get this one. I'm going to get beats. He's probably going to chip it really hard. Keep this in the corner. He does miss. He misses again. Let him go for this. They're backing off. Go for a high flick. Maybe go for a bump if he misses. Good touch from them, though. Not a fan of this touch from my teammate, but hopefully they can get back in time. That could have been really bad. I'm going to bounce off the wall first and then go for a, a chip shot. Yeah, not a fan when they, when you're off the angle too much of the goal. Like, it's quite obvious to the opponents that you're not going to be on target, right? So, in that position, like, in that situation, they're not going to be threatened to jump. There's no reason for them to jump because it's off target. Okay, he's still going. A little bit spooky. So, I'm just going to get the mid boost. I'm actually going to loop around my teammate. I don't really fully trust him to cover me, so I'm going to let him go. And then I'm going to wait middle here. It's a good chip. You should be able to take that corner boost. Good steal. Good pass. I'm going to shoot it towards target. Good save. Take the boost again. Not quite on target. Just take that extra time, that extra second, right? To just go for a shot on target. You know you have the possession, so take the control. I don't want to get bumped here because I am in an awkward spot. Good try on the, the demo. My teammate to challenge this. Good. Waiting behind M's Locky here. He should go on this in a second. Good control. It's a good chance for him. Nice 50. That's the second dunk 50 from this guy. I guess he's a tank. But there it is. We got two minute overtime. I'd say that we're keeping the games relatively even. Even in the threes games, I feel like I'm doing a decent job of like staying equal to kind of what people are doing. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the episode so far. We're going to do one more, ep uh, one more game though. And also, let me know if I'm doing too little. I do feel like maybe I'm playing a little slow in threes. I'm trying to let the, my teammates do more stuff. But I don't want to confuse them either. Right, we got a final twos game. We got Echo and Ray Gun Mark II. And Ghostly. Does he mean awkward touch off the wall? He does get a shot towards target. My teammate has to get ready for this bounce. I like that he waits a little bit further from the wall. Because the closer you are to the wall on those, the more awkward it's going to be. Now I'm going to wait for his touch. Go for a chip forward. Maybe he can turn on this. He should definitely be stealing that boost. Like he should have got that boost like three times already. And then unfortunately, they do get it. I will beat this guy. Go for a shot. Good save. You see, I can just hold on to that flip. Ghostly's going to go for the back corner boost. So I'm just going to take the uh, 50 for him. See if Ghostly can move up for this this ball. It's a good touch, but they're probably going to have a clear. Not the best clear. Looks like Raygun's not going for it. So I'm just going to go for a shot on target. See what they do with it. Good fake from my, my teammate. I like that. Let's say I have space for a shot. I'm going to go off the top left. Good save. Have another shot opportunity. Good save again. And I could definitely shoot that a little bit higher. If you take the time for the half volley, that'll go all the way on target. But it's good defense from the opponent. So I'm going to sit behind my teammate here. Good try. Now, that's an awkward touch. My teammate did get the boost already. So I don't need to save that boost for him. I'm a little bit careful to go for this because, yeah, he's going to beat me. Good control. I'll do bump the other guy out too. So goes uh, Raygun's last. Go for a backflip. If Raygun goes for this, it's totally fine. Because maybe my teammate can get a. Uh, the demo's okay, but they still have possession. I would have preferred uh, the touch on the ball there. Hit 50. It's a decent try, but I'm still recovering. You got to keep that in mind when you're making those touches too. That like your teammate, if your teammate's still recovering, you know that you can't really reliably get a passing play going there. I see Raygun off the mark off the net, so I'm just going to put it up high, see what they do with it. Nice. That's all we need to do. Just like, I see that him, he's not, not really sure what he wants to do because the way that he's positioning, it looks like he's trying to get ready for it. But sometimes people make really awkward touches by trying to make the touch. And honestly, if he makes no touch there, it's less dangerous. So it's kind of like an, a forced error or unforced error, I guess. I don't know which one you want to consider that one. I'll wait for the final touch here. That's a great uh, flip reset, but I'm ready for it. You can also keep in mind, too, the way the flip resets work is that if the car is leading for, like, a flip that way, um, let's go for a chip shot. Um, let's say uh, thanks. He kind of went for a bump. I don't really have a nice bump com command there. Uh, but what I wanted to say is that when someone's flip resetting, you got to think of the way that it's going to scoop. 
if someone is facing, I want to do it for the kickoff here. If someone's facing their car, uh, like like this, it's gonna scoop to the right, off that touch, way off the mark here. It's fine if they take the boost. They could try on the bump. Good setup. Take a second touch. All oh, the bump. So I get a beat here. I know I'm gonna like be in an awkward spot if I don't let the, that ball through, or if I let the ball through. I mean. I'm not the biggest fan of Ghostly getting that touch, but because now he's low, but the, luckily that boost does spawn. I'm going to cut this off immediately. I see that they're trying to go for a passing play. Not the best position to be going for a passing play either. A good touch from them. So my teammate needs to stall for me, which is good timing here. Now I'm already way behind them. You can see because I have a lot of boost too, that it's not that dangerous if I go for commit, but it's when you're like 30 to 40 boost and you go for the full all in, you know what I mean? Like that's, that's when it's really bad because... In that situation, you don't have enough boost to pick up your pace again. Like here, I can go for something where I go a little more aggressive and get a bump or something. But now I can already get back with a lot of boost, a lot of speed. Now I'm already in behind them. I'm going to go for this immediately because it's not the greatest play for me to let leave that one. For them to shoot. And I might be able to catch them off guard. A good double. I'm going to go for a light touch. See what they do with this. Maybe get a bump. Oh. That's fine. Let them take this corner boost if we can reach it first. To be okay. You see Echo doesn't really want to go for that because it's way too close. Way too tight of a, a shot. It's like Ray Gun didn't go for that. Didn't bite on that touch. I could have maybe stolen that corner boost. Let's we'll see what my team wants to do with controlling this. It's a good second touch. Oh, a little awkward. I'll jump up for this. Gonna get behind them. The better thing to do is, is try to stay with that. Control that. Try to get to the next touch again. Just looks like Ghostly might be able to score this. And there it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely a little bit uh, more wacky uh, in the teammate department, but uh, Ghostly was actually really, really solid. Really good positioning. And uh, Amzlocky did make a couple... Uh, uh, sorry, man. I'm, I'm off. Uh, but he did. Ghostly did make a, a, a bunch of good touches and good positioning. And, and also, our other teammate, Amzlocky, made some good uh, good dunks. He was a little bit uh, a little bit too passive, I would say. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I've got Matthew McConaughey here, and I've got Sathy. It's time to combine these guys into Sathy McConaughey. You know the drill. Let's get the angle right. Let's get the size right. Looks about right. And let's start erasing. Let's get the ears back there. Let's get the beard back in there. I mean, this one's a pretty, pretty quick one. <laughs> uh... Increase the face a little bit. Why does this look so cursed? <laughs> oh, something about combining combining Sathy's eyes and mouth with Matthew McConaughey's uh This is This is something. We just get like the beard over the the mouth a little bit. Nah, what's happening? You know what it is? I think it's because like Matthew McConaughey in this photo is smiling and <laughs> Sathy was not. Um, maybe what can help with this too is just getting the color grading right. <laughs> oh my god. Dude, okay, let me grab this section of Sathy and try to just increase the mouth size because I think it's like not fitting right. Let's do that. Let's make the mouth a little bigger. And then on this one, let's erase the old mouth. And I just want to make some improvements here. Try to get the beard back in there. Yeah, do I want to like liquefy this maybe? To try and match the smile. I want the backdrop. Oh my God. What is this photo, dude? Is Matthew McConaughey's like forehead reasonably darker or is really that much brighter, huh? It's terrifying. Do I just leave the mouth off? Cause then it's just the eyes. Nah, I think we keep the, the lips cause it's just, it's just, it just adds, you know, it just adds. Well, there it is. I'm not happy with this one, but I kind of am at the same time.